Hey, Pancho! No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that again. I am Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm Mark Peter, and today's episode uh, of The Wine and Dad is brought to you by Dr. Remy's Nighttime Tooth Card. And there you go. Well, this time we go for Mexican food, man. Mm-hmm. And we're going to dumbass tacos. Uh, no, 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 no. It's. Dumas tacos. Yeah, I'm not yeah. entirely sure that's correct. No, that is. That is. No, correct. because you know it is D U M A S, and then there's another S. There's another and S. Sometimes there. there's apostrophes, and sometimes there's I not. Know. And if you read the story on their website, it says they have a brother who's smartass. Son of gun! I had no idea. And they have a little sign in the restaurant where they were featured on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno as dumbass tacos. Well, I'll be. So I it may be no. doing it may be dumbass. Uh, we don't know. We're not smart hey, enough to figure it out. I, I, I hope you forgive me for the number of times I told you to quit saying that. I, I didn't realize it was the real name. I think they should have capitalized the A if they wanted to. Well, I think what they're trying to do is kind of, you know, have a little fun and roll it. It probably is doing but they, they sort of leave that, that apostrophe out every once in a while. I have no idea. Create a little fun, a little festivity. Let me tell you this. That place you're not gonna find. No, it's close to Tomball. If you go down uh, 2978 off of 1488 and head south, keep going right before you get to Tomball, you'll see this place on the right in the strip mall. And, and turn, turn at the big rock that looks like a bear. The big rock. And by the way, uh, several people have told Brad uh, that we should uh, Absolutely. this place. Uh, there was a lady who's been calling me for about the last three months telling us we've got to go there. And we kept putting it off and putting it off and going to other places. But finally, we had a little extra time. I said, we have got to go have a dumbass taco. And we, we did. My God, we did. What do we start at the entrance? We're, what, what's the it's place? not what's a fancy place. If you're looking to impress the boss or going out on a first date and you want to impress that gal, this ain't the place to go. Yep. Yellow interior and uh, the line. I mean, you come in the door and you just get in the line. And when you order, the person you're giving the order to is actually making it while you're talking. And so everybody else is waiting for your... It, it's finish. like traveling back in time and going to Guadalajara and ordering food from a street vendor. Really? And at times it gets pretty crowded, so I'm told, and I, I hate to think of waiting in line for... Uh, well, they, they serve things. breakfast, lunch, and kind of an early dinner. They're, they're mm-hmm. going to be closed by by 9 o'clock on, on most nights. Yeah. What what did you get, Brad? Do you remember? I well, was surprised. Well, you know, I knew that one of us had to get the, the, the dumbass special. Yeah, I got the... <laughs> which I think was great. Wait, and I wrote down exactly what it is, because <laughs> you ain't going to believe this. Yeah. It's three layers of corn tortilla, chicken or beef, your choice, Chili gravy with a fried egg on top. I got it because of the fried egg. That won me over, Brad. I, absolutely. I got a couple of tacos with fajita meat and some spicy chicken and, and some other things. Just to kind of have a lay of the land and see what they had. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, let me, I got the, I shared half of my uh, Dumas, uh, dumbass uh, uh, special. And one problem I had, I thought the corn tortillas were going to be crispy. They're not. In fact, they're dissolvable. Uh, They just, they were so soft and all, they just vanished while I was eating. The meat I had trouble with, and Bradford, you're not going to believe this, he actually got three tacos and he gave me one. I gave half of my stuff. I thought the meat, fajita type meat, I think they call it uh, tacos al al carbone or something like that. I thought it tough. And uh, I've had so much... uh, uh, less tough, leaner meat, but this was not it. Hey, Pancho, you're wrong I'm on wrong. this one, I was man. wrong. Here. This is a great place. Okay, you don't go here to impress your date. You don't go here to take the in-laws. Or maybe you do take the in-laws here if you don't like them that much. It's a fun place. You know, restaurants don't always have to be a cookie-cutter corporate concept restaurant or a traditional fast food McDonald's kind of place. Hey, if you want traditional fast food tacos, go to Taco Bell. If you want to have like a real Mexican experience, this is the place to go. I thought the food was interesting. How many places do you get a fried egg on top of your tacos? I have never seen it. You've never seen it before? I expected. This is where you can find it. This is where you need to go. Check it out. Mike, Mark thinks the, the meat's a little tough. A little chew and never hurt anybody. That's that, what I that, say. That's true. By the way, they also on the menu had chicken legs, which is what I wish I had gotten. Mexican chicken legs. I've never next time. had one. Uh, but uh, yeah, next time I'm going to do that. By the way, Brad, also 
their drinks. I really liked them. Bottled drinks, and they had the tall glass bottle of Coca-Cola. From Coca-Cola from Mexico. That's Those are the ones that use the real sugar, not the corn syrup. Exactly. There you go. And hey, I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm Mark Hader, columnist for The Courier and Villager. And by the way, don't forget Dr. Remy's nighttime tooth guard. This thing right here, it is disposable. You just fold it up, and when uh, right before bedtime, right when you're getting ready to go to bed, not for use with children Disposable. under three. Disposable. I've used one for about three hours and I've been... Get out of here. Yeah. Until next time, bon appetit. Later, what he said. Yeah. Pancho! Thank you. Pancho! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.